welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football Tuesday night breaking news for the Miami Hurricanes as Ruben Bain, a top 100 recruit, high four-star edge defender from Miami, has committed to the Miami Hurricanes. Again, Mario Cristobal in his first year in Miami, not necessarily the results you want to see on the field, but again, if you're a fan of the Hurricanes, you have to love where the direction of this program is going. You're starting to see the Hurricanes win very, very important recruiting battles. I mean, Ruben Bain had offers from anywhere he wanted to go. I know Alabama was in the running. I know LSU was in the running. And Miami is figuring out ways how to land some of these top guys. Ruben Bain's a really interesting guy. Before we get into the content, I just want to say thank you guys for the support you guys have shown the channel. Again, if you guys do like the content, consider subscribing to the channel. We talk a lot of Miami football as they're kind of one of the hotter programs in the country, especially on the recruiting trail. So again, if you guys like this stuff, consider subscribing. That's the best way to support us, and we love making these videos. We love chopping it up with you guys in the comments section. Let's get into Ruben Bain as the player. Again, 70th rated player nationally, 6'2", 250 pounds. I'm kind of I'm interested to see what they do with him. When I first saw this, like 6'2", maybe not enough length to be kind of an elite edge guy. But when you turn on the film, I mean, his burst and his ability to use his hands as a refined pass rusher is extremely surprising for a kid who is maybe not even 18 years old. Second thing, I wonder if you think a, a little bit of a Leonard Taylor here. I mean, Leonard Taylor, the former five-star, not former five-star, the current five-star on Miami's roster from the 2021 class. Leonard Taylor, 6'3". I believe he came into Miami at, at 6'3", 280 pounds. Ruben Bain. Already 250 pounds with only a 6'2 frame. I wonder if you want to put some weight on him and kind of put him on the inside, maybe like a three-tech spot, kind of like what Leonard Taylor is doing for the Hurricanes as well. Regardless of where you decide to put him, you were getting at a guy with an elite twitch level and just an elite athlete. And what's even more important when I go and watch his film and watch his highlights is how refined he is as an actual football player. A lot of these guys are kind of raw. They don't really, they're, they're good athletes but they don't necessarily know what they're doing on the football field yet. Ruben Bain couldn't be any farther from that. 29 and a half sacks as a junior in high school. 29 and a half sacks. You have to be very, very good at the actual sport of football to put that kind of production on the, the film. Now, what I want to do is go and watch a little bit of him because he is one of the more – it feels like you're looking at a, a 2023 NFL draft prospect when you watch him with how refined he is with his technique – we're going to full screen this, and he wins in so many different ways. I'm going to rewind that so you guys get a better glimpse of that. First rep uses his hands very, very well on a tackle, makes a sack. What I want to say before we go on to the next play, in the opener against IMG Academy, one of the premier high school football teams, three sacks. So he's not just doing it against any old high school football players. He's getting it done against elite talent across the country. But, again, uses his hands extremely well. And one thing that pops out, nice little shoulder dip there, gets the sack. He has a high motor. And another thing you want to know is although he's only 6'2", I wouldn't be surprised if he has like 33 inch arms. Like he is a long dude and he uses his hands extremely well. Then you see just the power, taking the tackle, getting into his pads and just putting him right back into the lap of the quarterback. And then you see the, the motor on this guy, which again is rare. And I think it's kind of an underrated trait when you're talking about edge prospects. A guy like Aiden Hutchinson makes me kind of think of that. Aiden Hutchinson didn't even have 33 inch arms. What made him so, so special at the college football level as we pull up this guy's recruiting class or recruiting page again is he had an unbelievable motor. And that's going to get you so much production at that next level. Now, taking a look at this Miami class, Miami putting together a top 10 class. They move up to number six overall with the commit from Ruben Bain. And obviously you have guys like Cormani McLean, Francis Mayoga. But then Ruben Bain, he's going to come in as the third prospect in this class. And again, Miami is in the running for a lot of guys who are set to commit in the next couple of months as early signing day approaches. Uh, again, you didn't get the most you wanted on the field for Miami this year, but they are bringing in a lot of high school talent. And in my mind, and this is kind of a widely debated topic, I still think it's very important to recruit at the high school level. As much as the transfer portal is getting hyped, you want to get these guys into your program when they're 18 years old 
and develop them for three years, as opposed to taking a guy who's played three years at Ole Miss and then taking him at Miami. You don't see the hit rate as much as you get when you get a good player at 18, you get him into the program, you get him knowing the system, the playbook, and, and the kind of the, the culture and the standard of the program. I think that's how you're still going to build a championship roster, and that is what Miami's doing. Mario Cristobal, you can debate whether he's a great on-the-field football coach. He's one of the best recruiters in the country. He's going to surround himself with very, very good coordinators, and you know he's going to bring back this program. Again, I, that, that's why I couldn't agree more with the hire for Mario Cristobal. I get it. A lot of people question how good of a coach he is on field. It doesn't really matter at this point. You just want to get the, – the teams that are going to win national championships are the teams that have the best talent on the team. You can surround yourself with coordinators who design and scheme up plays. If you're a head coach, your number one job is bringing in talent. Mario Cristobal is doing it at a very, very high level. It's got to be very exciting to be a Hurricanes fan. Again, wanted to keep it short with you guys, but this guy is a very, very talented player as Ruben Bain commits to the Hurricanes. If you guys do like the content, again, consider subscribing to the channel. We appreciate y'all. Talk to y'all later. Peace.